Our team coverage of the storm cleanup continues now with an update on the efforts to restore electricity to tens of thousands of area homes and businesses. Yeah, quite the effort there. Brian Wheeler with Consumers Energy uh, joining us live now with, uh, with an update. And Brian, we, we understand the storm took down more power lines than what you typically see, something like 2,200? Yeah, in fact, a bigger number than that, 2,600, which really gives you a sense of each one of those power lines affects several customers. In all, nearly 200,000 customers lost power at some point since uh, since this time yesterday and even later. Um, the storm is a major one, and we know the damage it's done. No surprise, the power grid's affected as well. The good news is we have uh, over 3,000 people working on our system right now. That includes help coming from Pennsylvania, Alabama, Kentucky, six other states altogether. Um, that's helping us to speed up that recovery process. Yeah, I live in northern Kent County and I saw the trucks out there today. For people who have lost electricity, how are the restoration efforts going? We know they're out there working. When can people expect to have their power back on? Yeah, you know, right now there are about 160,000 still without power and no doubt people are feeling that anxiety and that um, that desire to get their power back on. We understand that. Um, we're seeing progress today. We're confident as these folks come in from out of state, uh, joining us no later than noon tomorrow, that really will help us accelerate the process of returning power. Um, we expect many people are getting their power today. That continues around the clock tomorrow. By the end of the day, Sunday, we hope most everybody has their power back. Okay, Brian, you know, there are some important safety tips as well with uh, potentially some down lines uh, folks out there might encounter uh, as crews are out there working. Talk about some of those. Yeah, you know, with these winds, we've heard reports about entire trees being uprooted, damage to houses, to roofs, um, and of course the power grid. So it's still a, an uncertain situation, I would say. I would recommend being careful. If you do see a down power line, hopefully it's being guarded and being cordoned off, but if it's unsecured, if it's out there and looks like it could be a hazard, stay 25 feet away, that's a safe distance. Call 911, call Consumers Energy, 800-477-5050. And also, can people get text alerts as well? Absolutely, if you go online, uh, consumersenergy.com slash outage center, that's where you can find our map that gives those updates. And certainly go back to our map, refresh, make sure you're seeing what's going on. But you can sign up for, it can be text, it can be email, it can be information coming to you the way you want it so we can give you the latest and hopefully good news as we get the power back on. Good to know. All right, thank you so much, uh, Brian Wheeler. I, I'm sure a busy day for yourself and, and for Consumers Energy. Thank you for the safety tips and the update there. Thank you.